Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> it's hump day. Hump day! <laughs> it's hump day. Hump day! <laughs> Words. This is Jack, and today is Wednesday, December 9th, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence while we reflect on today's activities and focus on demonstrating our best behavior. Please be seated. Remember, warriors, to follow the three W's. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and watch your distance. Tomorrow there will be a basketball game at Flat Rock. The girls will start at 5 o'clock and the boys will follow. Be sure to come and support your warriors. Attention, warriors. Yearbooks are on sale for $60. Make sure to order your yearbook before the prices go up. You can make your yearbook extra special by adding your names or pictures. Buy online at www.jostensyearbooks.com or give your cash or checks to Miss Harrison in room 603. If you are going to bring in a check, make sure to make it payable to Booth Yearbook. There will be TCBY in the cafeteria every Friday for $2. There are an assortment of flavors you will enjoy. According to the United Nations, tomorrow is Human Rights Day. It is observed every year on on. December 10th, the day the United Nations General Assembly adopted in 1948 the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, UDHR. The UDHR is a milestone document that proclaims the inevitable rights which everyone is entitled to as a human being, regardless of race, color, religion, gender, language, political, or other opinion, national or social origin, property, birth, or status, or other status available in more than 500 languages. It's the most translated document in the world. A warrior is always respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. And now for the character lesson. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Hayden with a few words of wisdom. Have you ever felt hopelessness about something like, like there was just no hope at all in a relationship or a situation at home or at school? Most human beings experience hopelessness at some point in their lives. The question is, how do we pull ourselves up and out of hopelessness and despair? Listen to what famous American folk singer Joan Baez says about moving past those feelings. She says, action is the antidote to despair. An antidote is simply a cure or a remedy. Miss Bayes is saying that the action is the best cure for when we feel hopelessness. If you are feeling depressed and powerless about something in your life, talk to someone you trust, a parent, teacher, or a spiritual leader. Sit down together and discuss appropriate actions you can take. Then remember the words of Joan Bayes and get busy. With something to think about, this is Hayden. Make it a great day or not, the choice is always yours. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Elijah bringing you the weather for Wednesday, December 9th, 2020. The high for today will be 62 degrees and the low will be 37 degrees with a 10% chance of precipitation. Tomorrow you can expect a high of 68 and a low of 38 and a 10% chance of rain. Have a good day, Warriors. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Carter with the lunch choices for December 9th, 2020. Your choice of entrees are beef and cheddar nachos, Cheddar cheese nachos with salsa and sour cream and spicy chicken sandwich or a jammer pack. Your choice of sides are Mexican rice, whole kernel corn, shredded lettuce or diced tomatoes or sliced peaches. As always, there will be a choice of milk. Have a great day, warriors. Welcome to Star Chat Edition. I'm Gabby. And I'm Maddie. Let's talk about basketball. Basketball was invented by James Nash Smith in Springfield, Massachusetts. 
The idea behind Nashman's game was to maneuver a soccer ball by dribbling it up the court and then passing it to an open teammate who would attempt to shoot the ball into a peach basket. 195 countries play basketball and there are only about 70,000 professional basketball players around the world. There are 12 teams in the WNBA, 6 on the western side of the U.S. and 6 on the eastern side. The WNBA was founded in 1996 and the first season only started in 1997. The Minnesota Lennox and Houston Comcast have both won four championships in the WNBA. Women's basketball started in 1892 and has come a long way over the years. Fun fact, did you know that dribbling wasn't allowed when basketball first became a sport? Really? That's really cool. I know. This is Gabby. And Maddie. Thanks for watching Sports Talk Women's Edition. approximately 1.3 million emergency department visits each year and about 350,000 patients need to be hospitalized for further treatment after. Warriors, saying no to drugs. <laughs> 